So here we are, just watch this clip now, it's fa fantastic. Hi guys, welcome back to Wild Vlogs, where we'll talk about all things wildlife and all things filmmaking. But straight away, we're going to head over to a fascinating clip of two jays. You may remember this clip I showed you at the end of last week's vlog, and this was sent to me by an ex-nursing colleague of mine from my nursing days, from her daily walk in and around the grounds of Warwick University here in the Midlands of the UK. And her name is Mandy Bake. Well, I must say thank you very much, Mandy, for letting me use this clip. I've taken a, a straight screen swipe, as it were, from Facebook from where you uploaded it and it is just simply wonderful. Let's just look at the clip now. How fascinating was that? And of course every pair of birds must have a, a courtship ritual and it must be pretty prolific in the last few weeks and in the forthcoming weeks I guess with the migrants. But I never ever assumed to know or think of what a jay's courtship ritual would look like. And it's almost like a bird of paradise. I'm assuming that was the male there on the upper deck, hunched over the branch and leaning forward, raising the crest, puffing the feathers and making that popping noise. Absolutely fascinating stuff really really enriched my life and i wanted it to enrich yours too so i hope you enjoyed that great great stuff right now for this Thank you. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm going to take you to the busy, bustling high street of Leamington Spa. How strange does that sound? Yeah, I did record the opening sequence of this way before any lockdown. I was intending to actually head to Leamington quite often throughout the spring and the summer to film a very special pair of birds. Leamington Spa isn't so far from me. It's about five miles as the crow flies. And I suppose, like most towns and cities now around the country, they too have this very special pair of birds breeding with them also. In Leamington you will find them in the clock tower of the town hall. And now, courtesy of the live webcam, here is the female peregrine falcon sat on a clutch of eggs. Now, this clip was recorded about three weeks ago. She laid four eggs. The four eggs were laid during the middle of March. She'd been brooding them for about four weeks. This was about her second and a half into the third week that I filmed this. Just an amazing sight. Here now you'll see her shift, she gets a call from the male bird who's going to come in and relieve her. Let her stretch her wings, get a little bit of exercise. This won't be long before she's back again claiming rights to brood these eggs, but this is nice to see. And look, look at those eggs, fantastic brick red coloration to them.
and the male there desperately trying to fit his tiny frame over these four eggs because compared to the female he is relatively small in fact I'm going to take you now to a clip that I did of the female brooding the eggs and what I've done is I've done a cross dissolve into the male brooding the eggs and you'll be you'll be pretty interested to see the size difference here so just take a look at this so we'll start off with the female and there's the male and back to the female again so it's quite dramatic really you can see the size difference there is it's quite dramatic I think they say they're up to about a third bigger the females but she definitely does rule the roost that's for sure well it's a bit loaded showing you these clips because something amazing happened at the end of last week and it had me sat in front of my computer screen filming the computer screen live via the webcam just waiting to catch a certain moment and here it is let's go straight to it now So similarly, just like the last clip, the female has been called by the male and as she stands up, would you look at that, we've got a chick. So this chick hatched on the 28th of April and this is actually now a food Passover, the first food Passover since hatching, so if we stick around it won't be too long before we see the first feeding of the first chick. I'm guessing that most of you will be aware of peregrine falcons, but of course the biggest known fact about these birds is that they are the fastest animal in the world. In a, in a stoop, in a diving stoop, which is what they do to catch their prey, they can reach up to 200 miles an hour. Now a lot of people say, well that's not fair because it's it's all sort of gravity based but all the same 200 miles an hour in a stoop so you'll see that the prey here has been pretty much plucked and beheaded and that's what the male would do and what I like about this now is obviously this female is a hungry bird she's been she's been really on the job as it were brooding the eggs and 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 maintain it must take a lot of energy maintaining this position in all weathers and uh, despite picking the perfect size pieces to feed the chick and despite the chick as you can see desperately begging well, I mean, what an instinct this bird has just come out of the egg but look at that instinct there to beg uh, but despite all of that she takes the first four or five pieces for herself and at the time I was thinking come on feed the chick but eventually of course she's a great mum she's uh, raised uh, two or three broods now in Leamington of course being this great mum she's soon onto the job and uh, and there we go look the first feed of the first chick of the 2020 Leamington Spa Peregrine Falcons. Awesome. I can tell you now that the second and third egg have hatched and the fourth egg is latent. I think it's going to be the, the dud egg as it were. And that happened last year. She laid a clutch of four, first three hatched and the fourth, the fourth one there seems to be a bit of a reserve egg. And that brings us to the end of vlog 21. I really hope you enjoyed it. Always looking forward to seeing you again. Really looking forward to vlog 22. But between now and then, please do take care, be safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in a week. Goodbye.